In this presentation, we're going to look at the extreme values of a data set, the maximum and the minimum. We're also going to look at how to determine the position of the maximum and minimum. We're going to find, uh, look at the cumulative maximum and minimum and the parallel maximum and minimum. So we have a little data set here, A, 13, 16, 17 and so on. So to compute the maximum of this, A, max A, is 41, so that the largest value there. And the minimum is 8, which is the lowest value there. Now, the second thing I'm going to do is compute the determine the position of the maximum and minimum. Now, the command I would use here is which max of A. And what we have here is uh, 4. Now, what does that mean? It's actually the fourth element is the maximum. This is the fourth element here, and that's what that is telling us, that the fourth element is the maximum. It doesn't give us the value, it gives us the position. Likewise, we can do the same thing for the minimum. In this case, the seventh element here is the minimum value. We're all now going to look at the cumulative maximum and cumulative minimum. So the command is uh, cum max of A. Now, what this does is it moves from left to right, it moves its way through the vector and it saves the minimum, the maximum value as it goes along. So looking at the first value here, it finds, well, it, the necessarily the first value is the first maximum. Then it would look at the second value here and it's reckoned that this is the new maximum. So it re replaces the 13 with the 16. Likewise, it gets replaced here by the 17 because this is now the new maximum once it, once it gets to this position here. Likewise, it will go to 41 because this is the new maximum now. Now, what's going to happen here is it go it's going to stay at 41 because all of the va uh, values that come after it, 13, 9, and 8, are less than the maximum. So, that is how it will... That's the cumulative maximum. Now, briefly, I'm going to look at the cumulative minimum. And it stays at 13, 13 the whole way through. Then it gets reduced to 9, and then it gets reduced to 8. Okay. Now, we ha I'm going to look now at the parallel maximum and parallel minimum. So I have a second data set here. I'm going to, um, I'm going to clear the screen now. I have A and B. Now, these vectors are both of the same length. There are seven values in each. Now, the parallel maximum is the pairing, the maximum of this, this pair of values here. So, in this case here, we're going to look at these two values here first and determine which of these is the greater, and it's actually 23. We're going to look at these two values here and determine the maximum of those two, and it is 16. Likewise, the maximum of these two here, 17. The corresponding function for the minimum is p min, and there we have there. These are the paired minimum minima of each of the pairings there. I have a second just to, to show you a, a little bug that might take place. I have a slight variation of the data set b b1. Here I've actually put in an additional value of 12. Now, I'm going to try out P max and P min again with A and B1. We're going to get a little error message here. Uh, warning message. Okay, essentially this is because A has seven elements, but B1 actually has eight elements. So the pairing uh, structure breaks down because they have different number of elements. A and B.